The most worrying developments in artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize our species, with even semi-smart technologies capable of things we humans can only dream of. And we're not even talking about hyper-intelligent, godlike beings like you'd see in science fiction. Weak AI, which describes intelligent programs designed to complete a specific task, could aid us in our attempts to search the stars, develop knowledge, heal each other, and take care of our planet. There will be a little naughty stuff thrown in there for good measure. We are humans, after all. But if wielded correctly, the power of AI may come to define this era of humanity like no other technology. So long as we don't make a bunch of super smart killer robots that can read our minds and get angry, that is. Oops, too late. <laughs>
According to Nemradov, EEG captures activity at the millisecond scale, so we can see with very fine detail how the percept of a face develops in our brain using EEG. This technology has profound implications for those who cannot communicate verbally and can also be employed by law enforcement to create more accurate representations of criminals from the minds of eyewitnesses. Judging by the quality of some sketches, like this one from England, those guys could use some serious help. But should we allow artificial intelligence to gain access to our minds? I don't think most people would want to know what others' first impressions of them were. And more importantly, do we not risk blurring the lines between man and machine with such technology? It may eventually prove beneficial to enhance ourselves using artificially intelligent systems, but surely it must be refined before we start scanning each other's minds and processing the contents. Because at present, artificial intelligence is worse than rudimentary. It is as deeply flawed and emotional as the human beings who made it. Angry Racist Robots if the company from our first entry created an autonomous, intelligent piece of weaponry that could decide for itself how to complete a mission, how safe do you think the rest of us would be? Such a machine would inevitably be programmed with both the ability to develop creative solutions to problems alongside a set of rules to guide its behavior. But what happens when an AI entity figures something out that we hadn't thought of? A dangerous loophole resulting in a response more aggressive than we could ever have anticipated. These fears were stoked by observations made by Google's DeepMind team back in 2017, where two versions of the same artificially intelligent system were pitted against each other in a task. Both systems were required to gather more apples than the other, and to up the stakes they were each given lasers which they could use to attack their opponent. The study noted that the AI systems learned to act more aggressively when apples were scarce whereas the pair were less aggressive when apples were abundant. It was also discovered that the more intelligent and complex the program, the more likely they were to indulge in aggressive behaviors. So the next time you find yourself burning down an orphanage and beating a horse to death with your bare fists, don't feel bad. You're only doing it because you're smart. Another experiment by the DeepMind team involved the participation of AI systems in a wolf pack game where two artificially intelligent beings had to run around a Las Vegas casino trying to find their friend while being hampered by a developmentally challenged AI called Alan. Okay, not really. What actually happened was that two AIs had to capture a moving target, with cooperative and competitive options both available. Now, two distinct strategies emerged, one where the AIs met up and worked together, and another where one AI found the target first and waited for the other to come and help. Simple AIs found this task more difficult, whereas complex systems were better suited to working together. What is interesting is how the results of these experiments differ from the results of real-world situations. The Google study investigated how humans also respond to these tasks and found that the gathering game often produced more coordination within humans since less cooperation is actually required to succeed. With regards to the Wolfpack task, Less cooperation was apparent within human groups, since victory requires more cooperation in this instance. The conclusion of this study is that the cooperation of AI systems cannot be taken for granted just because it seems logical to us. AI systems will react in a manner which seems appropriate to them, and despite our involvement in their programming, this is not necessarily something we can always predict or control. Oh, and as well as making them irrationally aggressive, we're also making machines super racist, too. At least, that's what a group of human rights organizations believes. It's a known flaw of artificial intelligence that human biases and beliefs will inevitably seep into their programming. But how dangerous could this be? What kind of problems might this cause? And do the developments we've investigated today warrant a rethink on the rules we impact upon robots and AI technology? We're going to investigate this in our bonus video, The New Laws of Robotics, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then... 
That's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.